Welcome to Around the Grounds. Support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash patmansport. The Wynnum Bugs have celebrated 40 years of existence, hosting both Gympie and University. Founded in 1979, the club played in Suburban Rugby's Barber and Peg Cups until 2018, after which they joined the Sunshine Coast Comp. The day's opening contest saw the hosts cruise past Gympie 38 points to 12. Really happy with the second half. I mean, uh, all the boys knew they had a really, really bad first half. We uh, didn't turn up, gave them too much space. It was like a practice run for them. Uh, once we decided to put a few shots on and actually stop playing football, uh, they looked a bit worried. So, yeah, can't be, can't be too upset with that, I suppose. In the A-grade game, the Bugs couldn't quite come away with the points. They went down to university 13 points to 7. I think we played a lot better than last week. I mean, full credit to the boys. They really dug in there and gave a 80 minutes performance. We knew that it was going to take two halves of really good footy and we knew that we couldn't let ourselves down and we knew we were going to have to score more points than them and unfortunately we just couldn't get that done today. I think most of the boys enjoy playing in front of the, uh, in front of the crowd. Like, the louder the better. Like, you can't have every crowd on your side, but it's good, it's good to show, uh, see a bit of passion for the game still alive. So, um... I think it helps both teams really. So sort of getting used to the uh, big crowds at home. Yeah, we've, we've been going to Noosa for enough years, so we know what a what a loud crowd sounds like. So they're no different down here. So the result sees Uni maintain top spot with daylight between them and second place, while Wynnum drop to fourth. The Queensland Red Super Rugby Finals hopes are officially done for. They lost to the Jaguars 34 points to 24 at Lang Park Saturday night. You can't knock the Queensland boys uh, fight and, and they stick in there, they hang in there. It's just, uh, I guess, executing some stuff. We're turning the ball over. You know, they, we knew they were a real threat around that. and you know, Quite a few times we failed to, to uh, you know, they, they got some turnover ball, when, which makes it hard on uh, you know, your momentum. You know, there's a few times, yeah, you know, we're mauling five metres off that try line, and like an experienced side, yeah. Um, you know, you see their squad; they've played a lot of tests, but that's no excuse. Um, like like Tony's saying, you love mixing it with them, and the exposure that um, this squad gets from it is is next to none. You know, um, we I thought we we played well in parts, um, but like like again, Tony said they they played really well. Uh, their bench came on added to it, but our bench came on and added as well. Um, we are just a little bit short, we fell short there, but that's that's fine. Um, you know, and to answer Jimmy's answer, like, you, you don't want those type of teams going away, like Tony said. You want to mix it with them. Um, it was an awesome challenge out there. I'm really proud of the effort and really proud of how the boys have been fronting up the last couple of weeks. And the growth that they're going to get from that is, you'll, you'll see that soon. So, um, you know, really enjoyed that game, but... Um, you know, falling short, it's, it sucks, losing sucks, um, but we'll work again and, and come back next week. No, no, I, we were expecting a really tough game. Um, last year when the Reds were, won, won in Buenos Aires, uh, it was really, there was a lot of physicality. It's true that the Jaguares, they had some chances that they didn't score, but the physicality was there, so we were expecting that, and I think there was no surprise. The breakdown zone, the tackle zone was was really tough from both sides. It was tough today to play rugby, to to go for several phases, and I think both teams uh, struggled to put their rugby out there. Uh, but well, sometimes the games go that way. So I'm quite I'm quite happy we 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 got the win. I'm quite happy with the, our scrum and driving mall that was not that performant and I think at the end of the game was was something really important for us and I'm definitely really proud of a lot of kids that didn't play a lot that we gave them a chance and they they took their opportunity. In Queensland Cup Rugby League the Sunshine Coast Falcons have gone to 12 wins from as many games with a 32 points to 16 win over Burley. Up in Rockhampton, North have defeated the Central Queensland Capris 48 points to 12. Another break up the middle, Broadhurst turns it back on the inside. Dargan scores under the post. 
Road came with a real simple plan here that, you know, we'll knock in the front door down and we'll try to go through them. So, you know, I think the first 40 minutes, even though we didn't see the results in the second half, I think we set like a really good platform and Road just emphasised that, you know, just make sure we stick to our game plan and we're going through them with heaps of support, playing flat and fast. So I think it was just a real credit to the boys for listening to Road and coming out with a really good um, game plan. To soccer, the Sunshine Coast Fire have been beaten by the Brisbane Royal Youth side, six goals to none. If you would like to support our coverage, you can do so over on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash patmansport.